Hey guys, it's me and today I am here with a very very exciting reaction video for you guys. I am so excited for this. I am so, so, so excited for this. So today we are checking out the new music video from Exit Eden and that is for their song Run featuring Marco Hiatala. I, I cannot tell you the reaction. Well, actually, I can't tell you the reaction that I had when I saw this on my Instagram feed that a new video and song was coming from them because I was sitting on the couch with my best friend and we're waiting to like get ready to like go run some errands and whatnot and I see this pop up on my feed and I immediately just start flailing my arms screaming, oh my god, oh my god because I am so excited. I am so happy. I am so freaking excited. This is something that I have been waiting for for so, so long. You guys have no idea. So if you guys can't tell by the flag that's behind me, I really love this band. So this flag here was from the limited edition box set that they had for their debut album Rhapsodies in Black, which came out in 2017. We haven't gotten any new music from these guys since 2017 and that particular album is a cover album. Now I don't know if this song is a cover or not. I'm staying away from like reading the description box aside from like seeing like the very top of it which I'll talk about that in just a moment but I'm not going to scroll down on the screen at all just so that way I can avoid spoilers because I don't want to be spoiled. I don't know if this is an original song or if this is another cover. So I should probably go ahead and mention like whom this band actually is for those who might not know who Exit Eden is. So Exit Eden is a symphonic metal girl group which like I mentioned before their debut album was a cover album. Anna Bruner which she now has her own project called League of Distortion really great stuff. Their self-titled debut album last year was amazing. You have Clementine Delaney of Visions of Atlantis, which I mean, absolutely iconic. Saw them live in Atlanta last year when they toured with Dragon Force, Firewind, and Seven Spires. Absolutely amazing. And Pirates was also my album of the year last year. Then you have Marina Latorica of Phantom Elite and which they're really great. They're going through a bit of a transitional period with their sound at the moment and really exploring their sound. The Blue Wood album that they put out this year was really cool, really enjoyed it. Lastly, you had Amanda Somerville, which she is an absolute legend, queen, icon within the metal scene. Because I mean, she has her own solo project called Trillium. She's worked with Avantasia, Arian, Angra, a lot of A's. Um, she had a project called Kiske and Somerville. She's worked with HDK, which is her husband's project. And she's worked with Epica. I think she's even worked with After Forever. Like she has worked with so many different projects over the years. Like I said, queen, legend, icon. And she was with them for the debut album. They did announce that she is no longer going to be in the project because she's focusing on other things because she's a mother now. Right when Rhapsodies in Black was being released and everything, she was very, very pregnant with her twins. And she's been focusing on being a mom and everything. Like she'll do stuff like here and there and whatnot, but her main focus is being a mom. And although I am sad to see her go because again, legend, queen, icon, happy that the project is still here and that they don't ever plan on replacing her. And that I just really do love and appreciate. All right, so that's enough of me rambling. Let's go ahead and dive on into this. But before we do so, if you guys are new here to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. And also down there, definitely give this video a thumbs up because that'll help me out a lot. All my links are down in the description box below. And let's do this thing. I'm so excited!
It's so good that they made it out of that mansion. Yes. As a gay, I definitely love the fact that there is a symphonic metal girl group out there. There's something about us gays and girl groups that just do it for us. I don't know what it is. There's just something about a girl group and the gays. They just go hand in hand together. And the fact that I'm a metalhead 
like and there's a metalhead girl group out there just yes this is the first single off their upcoming album Fom Fatalas and I am so excited and it's as you guys probably noticed their first original song and just going by like the very brief description that's in the description box it seems like they're going to be bringing in a bunch of other new little things with this album which i am super excited about i'm wondering there's probably going to be some covers in this i can only assume but who knows this might be an entirely original album which if that's the case that's perfectly fine but again if there are covers i'm gonna live I am gonna live. Especially if it's as gay as Rhapsodies in Black, I'm gonna live. You know for me, when the original music videos were coming out for like the six singles that they had for Rhapsody in Black, I remember, I can't remember the person's name because this was so, so long ago, but I remember exchanging comments with somebody in the comment section and us just gaying it the fuck out and everything and just being like, yeah! We were going in and whatnot, just being like the gays that we are. And I just cannot wait for more of this and whatnot. I am so excited. I hope that they would do a tour across the US. I know it would probably be a big venture for them and a big endeavor to make something like that happen. But bitch, I will live. I would live. <laughs> but this was run by Exit Eden featuring Marco Hiatala. What did you guys think? I loved it. I thought that the song was so good. It was a lot of fun. It showed off everyone really well. It was also really nice hearing like the mezzo soprano ness of Marina again because over the years, I mean, with Phantom Elite, she doesn't really bring out that side of her voice very often especially on the Blue Blood album. Like that is not a symphonic album at all. Like with that particular album, she does explore some other sides of her voice. Like she starts screaming on that particular album, which makes me curious if she's gonna bring that aspect of her voice with this new Exit Eden album. I don't know. I don't know how long this particular album has been in the works for. So who knows? It might have been like recording things over like the last several years. So she might not have been screaming yet at that point when they started working on this. And this was the one critique that I had of Rhapsodies in Black. I really hope that Anna is really gonna have a chance to really shine on this release because I feel with On Rhapsodies in Black, although she is one of the founders of this project, she didn't really have that much of a time to shine really on Rhapsodies in Black. But yet during the live performances though, she really had her times to shine and whatnot. So I'm hoping that with this particular album that she'll actually be able to shine on the record. And so, yeah, cause homegirl, homegirl can sing. She's a freaking powerhouse and I love her voice so so much like i mentioned before the league of distortion album amazing also i hope that we can see some soprano moments from clementine on this as well because he didn't really get that on the um album for rhapsodies of black and whatnot so yeah hopefully we'll be able to get some of that from her and whatnot so there's just a lot of things that i would love to see with this and whatnot so i'm curious as to what's gonna happen that's enough of me rambling. What did you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below and let me know as what songs and videos I should check out next. And until I see you guys in my next video, whenever that might be, goodbye.